He's off to a good start in the second half. Buchanan making his first career start tonight. Don't look out! You saw it coming, partner. Tonight for UVA, it goes to Dunn. It was memorable. Yeah, Ryan Dunn, the sophomore out of Freeport, New York. He got loose, took off from the logo. I thought, I thought initially it might have been the free throw line, but it was just the ACC logo. And no turnovers for Virginia to this point as Virginia comes up with another steal. Oh, mm. To read the room, you got to understand Ryan Dunn coming to you like, just like that. You got to get out of the way. <laughs> Young fella, don't try to take that charge. That's only going to get you on sports in the top ten. Well, we have seen a couple already this year from Dunn. That tops them all. Debbie played volleyball at USC and then spent over two decades as the head volleyball coach at Idaho. Blake's brother plays Division I volleyball. Mm. Everybody's spiking the ball. I believe it's a block party in here right now. you got to be prepared for him to shoot it from 30 feet away. Beekman almost threw that out of bounds. Good save by McNeely. Nice pass underneath and done with the slam. Brody was really aggressive early in the second half. Not as much of late. Dunn puts it on the deck, soars to the rim, and smashes it. This action from Tony Bennett earlier in the first half, trying to get Ryan Dunn a rim run. That's sort of an oddity of the schedule, a surprising oddity. Benny Williams had it blocked by Dunn. Starling with a head of speed, and look at Dunn closing ground to swat it out of bounds. The same kind of impact. He, now he's past him, but Dunn does a great job following the play. Po Boy King is the top scorer at 15 and a half per game. Yeah, three starters missing and the sixth man missing. We'll talk about that as the game goes on. Cavaliers three on two in transition. McNeely is open and that is a mistake for the Eagles. He'll stretch that defense and more openings will occur for his teammates. Oh, and how about this back cut here? Yeah, out of the timeout. That's their offense. Get the ball to Darty. Make other teams have to work to try to figure out how to stop him. And he does a great job of either scoring or distributing the basketball. Box per game, our spotlight player, and he is a tenacious defender. It's been a changeup on the defensive end for Virginia as Darty tries to shovel the pass, and the turnover is forced. Beekman's got it. Well, they've got there. You see Virginia in transition, but they're going underneath couldn't make any roadie didn't make any it was just it became tougher and tougher in a really really tough environment in memphis don count it and the foul ryan other cavaliers you see this again little shot fake to get simpkins in the air and then finish and if you can get cameron hobbs rob lawson and the injured winston tabs back you've got a nice backcourt how nice was that, Coach? You see some holiday cheer and smiles in the crowd. Well, the Cavaliers just getting what they want offensively right now. The Bears unsure if they should trap hard hedge. Good defense by Beekman, reigning ACC Defensive Player of the Year. Batted away by Dunn, who has a chance to win ACC Defensive Player of the Year this year. Dunn on the baseline, and the flush. An emphatic slam. Now, you only get a couple of chances when you're the guard going in there, dropping it off to the big. You got to finish those, otherwise you're not getting the next one. And coach, you knew the answer to that question. Ryan Dunn with a chance for three. But that's the way you finish. Ryan Dunn is to go one-on-one -on -one against Brandon Hundley Hatfield, who they feel he has an advantage. So we'll have to see how Virginia operates with Beekman on the bench. Well, it's going to be down to Dunn. The turnaround from the baseline goes just before the horn sounded. Virginia taking over. Ryan Dunn is the shot clock going down the fadeaway. So Taylor on the bench means O'Connell gets Beekman defensively. And here is Dunn to the basket and one. Ryan Dunn, the dunk. Ryan Dunn rising up top high. Two of his seven points. UVA though down by seven. Second half begins after the break. Poteet tries to get rid of the ball. Here's Padula on the switch. He lost it. Numbers for Virginia. Beekman to the rim and done. Hammers it home. And the work they were doing with him. But 
I'm not even sure he saw this, although he did say they had really good practice. Great play. Off the Dunn block. Here comes Rody giving it to Dunn. Shot clock down to 10. Reeves trying to make something happen. Another contest. Brian Dunn, he is anchoring Virginia defensively right now. Great feed. Minor the finish. And look at this passing right here again by Dunn. Off the pin down. Modiara backing down Dunn. Trying to spin his way free. Oh, ball. Ryan Dunn dialed in on the defensive end. And on man versus you. See who can win out. And Dunn wins out on this one. Again, two long athletes going at it. That's a great. Wide open. Ryan Dunn hammers it home. Five on the shot clock for Beekman. Nice pass inside. Minor fumbles. Corral. Oh, oh, and a jam. oh where did he come oh, from? My goodness. Ryan Dunn. When you, when Ryan, you Dunn. At them, Ryan Dunn goes up to the next level. Patience. Oh my God! To happen. Just lob it up there and just bring it from back, you know, from Charlottesville. Oh my God, Ryan Dunn has put on a display this afternoon. I say that, and, and again, I can definitely be swayed toward Ryan, but the reason I go to Reese is because he normally does a better job, as you see. Another Ryan Dunn block shot. Guys, thank you. We continue our afternoon of ACC basketball here in Clemson, where Reese Beatman's miss is flushed by Ryan Dunn, who went over the top of his teammate. Not much is for the Hurricanes after a pretty quick start. Team with the feed and a slam by Dunn. Virginia taking on Pitt right here. Uh, John Paul Jones Arena at 7 Eastern, and Boston College hosting Louisville. There's Dunn with the slam. CW Courtside Saturday production crew Buchanan met at the rim by Green and he grabs it. Just a fraction too long gathering himself. Worley driving. Dunn came over for the help. Again, McNeely led all scorers in the first half. Dunn. Back to Rohde. He lets it go and rips the ropes for Virginia. Hildreth. Beats the double team all the way to the rim. Blocked by Dunn. He leads the ACC in blocks, and that's why. Miller trying to get something in transition. Dunn flies in. His fourth block today. How good is he? And that is the 20th shot clock violation forced by Virginia this season. Mismatch. Now Dunn needs to keep it right here. Here comes Reed on the double. Off to Buchanan, who hammers it home. To try to get him an opportunity to make it a one possession game. A Carolina fans asking, where is RJ Davis? Baycott has shown up. Block! Done with a rejection. On the one of one, and how about the ACC's leading shot blocker, Ryan Dunn, taking on Armando Baycott. Blocked him. Here comes Quanell Harris. And what a defensive play by Ryan Dunn. Ryan Dunn. Look at this, my goodness. Every team in college basketball is better off of a made shot when you get your defense back and get set. They may be dramatically so, though. The slowest tempo team in America. And they get a basket from Ryan Dunn on the lob from Reese Beekman. They're four for 22. He's hit two field goals. He's assisted the other two. Here's Dunn. Mm. Dunn gets free. A screen for Buchanan. And Ryan Dunn smashes the first Virginia field goal. He's going to be the guy that it's not really going to get passes taken away. Virginia getting some rare bench points. Zachary looking for an answer. He gives it away. Beekman out of the pack with it. Beekman pushing the tempo. Oh, top Dunn with a slam. That's a pretty good play right there, Jay. Well, you can't worry about Ryan Dunn. Here's the inbounds play, and Ryan Dunn lets that space clear. And good job by Morsell. Better job by Dunn. Got free of Viara. 